Hey, welcome to Soda Beers Jacket Barbecue. We're asked to do another comparison video. Check out what we did the comparison on. Chef Sun reached out to us, asked us to put their Chef's Temp uh, Final Touch X10 up against Thermoworks Thermopen 1. So we'll bring it back after the intro, unbox them, do a little testing, and show you what they're all about. All right, so unpackage both of them. Both come in similar cartons. Like I said, um, Chef Sep, I do like their packaging. They added a little feature that makes this thing stand out on the, on the shelf. It just gives a little depth to what their packaging does. Um, got a little foil going on here to bring your attention to it on the shelf. So I do like that. Again, not a big deal. That's what the world I live in on a daily basis is packaging. So those things like that jump out of me. Both have literature, instructions, all those things come in the booklets. But let's kind of go over the features. So Thermopen 1, the thing is, it says reads in one second in ice water. Um, it, doesn't, it does say other, other things will vary and how fast it reads. But open it up, temperature probe comes on, so it does from you know, almost closed to a 180. You get your readings, you flip it, changes on every angle in four different ways that it changes as it reads. Um, do a reading in the ice water. You got 32 degrees there. So that's the features there. It does light up. Um, it does, the screen will light up depending on the darkness. Right now it's pretty bright out so it's not gonna light up, but it will light up. Let's see if I can make it light up here. Just for, trying to cover it all. It, it, like I said, it doesn't, just cause it's so bright out here. Chef's Temp Final Touch X10. Um, again, instant read. Does say one to three seconds reading in ice. Um, Again, open it up, try to see where, where the point is, where you open it, that it kind of comes on. Does the 180, but it also does a 270, which is really nice when you're doing different things and you're trying to get in different angles with the, the, the thermometer. The other th nice thing this does, well again, it does, you turn it, it changes. Um, it does have a hold button here. So the hold button, well, if you're in the back of an oven or you're over hot fire and you don't want to sit there too long with it, get the temperature you want, hit the reading and bring it back out and take a reading of it. But like I said, the nice thing with this that it does a 270 is really nice. And again, the screen brightness on this thing is tremendous. So really like that part of it and how easy it is to see that screen. All right, so I realized we never showed it to you in the, hot, in the ice water. So we get a reading there, nice and quick, 32, 31.9, nice. The other thing we want to do is uh, just show them both together, going at the same time. So hopefully I can uh, try to do this together here. Do it with two hands. Ready? There you go. Both went pretty quick. You know, I'm going to warm them up. It's actually pretty cold here right now. There you go. Hopefully you saw that one pretty fast. So now we'll show you in some cooks, some boiling water, and uh, we'll keep showing you how they work together. All right, it's only been on about 10 to 15 minutes so far. I just want to take a see where we're at here. Yeah, 91, 92. All right, I had to move this side because this one doesn't rotate like the other one. So yeah, it was like 93 on the other one, and if I'm at the same spot, it's right there, right with it. Okay, probes are showing us right around 110, so let's see what we're at here. Just a touch under that on the one. And about the same way that was. We're just gonna let them ride for a little bit longer. All right, so we showed the chef temp there, reading about 107, 108. Hopefully I'm hitting about the same spot. Or I'm sorry, it was about 105, if I remember right on that, when we were reading that. About the same on both, so working identical. All right, they're showing in boiling water. And they both got there pretty quick, about the same temperatures there. Um, fast and accurate, nice. All right, so our conclusion, like I said, both performed as they should. Um, both worked different ways, read fast, did all those great things. 
Um, for the difference, the one difference, the other thing I didn't mention before on the, some of the differences is the Thermopen 1 is like $105 retail. Chef's Temp X10 is $70. So you get all the same features, everything you can do, and to me a better screen and a 270 rotation. To me, this is what I do is that honestly, I've been using this for months now, and there's actually, I saw some scratches on it because I use this every time I cook anything. So uh, yeah, definitely a great unit. They actually won the, um, the Red Dot Award for product innovation as far as what this is. They just won that for 2022. So again, you're not gonna go wrong with the Thermopen one. I'm not gonna complain about that because it does read fast. It does do everything you need it to do. But to me, the convenience and the way that reads is the way to go. So hopefully like you're seeing, subscribe to the channel, click the bell notifications, and we'll see you next time.